there, this is the Bikini Beast reporting live from Willow Bend Fitness. I have Miss Sarah Hayes here, IFBB Pro, competing in six days in Olympia. Oh my god, are you excited? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ecstatic and uh, excited. Oh, yeah. Just, I'm so focused and just, it's just surreal stuff. <laughs> well, first of all, congratulations. Thank Two you. years on, as a pro, right? Yes. And you're going to the Olympia. Yes. Uh, can you believe it? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's hard to believe. Like I said, it's so surreal. Yeah. I just turned pro pretty fast in two years, and then last year was my first pro year, and this year has been just a whirlwind. We've been going since March, so seven months straight. That's amazing. Yeah. So what even got you into bodybuilding in the first place? Um, a girlfriend of mine in Minnesota is where I'm from originally. Um, she had suggested, she suggested that we do a figure competition, so I prepared and did the Gopher Classic in 2007 as a finger competitor and realized I was a bodybuilder. <laughs> the judges told me I could have won bodybuilding that day, but it was fourth. Um, and I did a natural show like four weeks later, one in Minnesota. And then uh, the next year I thought I was going to figure it out and then realized I should just do bodybuilding. So 2008 was my first NBC bodybuilding show at the same cla Gopher Classic in Minnesota. And, uh, and uh, four years ago they were doing Wow, congratulations. Thank you. So Texas really brought it out of you. This is really yeah, the yeah, state yeah. that's just harnessed this bodybuilder in you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I looked when I was looking to move and start over. Right. I went to uh, you know, West Coast, East Coast, and then South, and, and I learned that Dallas is, or Texas is the largest state in bodybuilding, I believe. So, and then, you know, as a personal trainer, um, I know people down here value it, so it's definitely a great place to move for my mm -hmm. career as well. So tell me a little bit about you as far as your history. You know, what, where does Sarah Hayes do? Sarah Hayes is the personal trainer. <laughs> <laughs> I was a strength and conditioning coach at Division One schools at my University in Ohio, out of Rhode College, and then University of Minnesota. Um, so I've always been an athlete and played in a oh. college volleyball scholarship at a Division Two school. I'm originally from Southwest Minnesota, a <laughs> small town, um, and I went to school in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and then. Like I said, I went back to Minnesota, had this, and then I went you know, out into the world of personal training and just have been self-employed. Um, obviously moved here and started Lifetime for a couple, you know, nine months and then just endeavored myself to Willow Bend Fitness. So. Fantastic. So you're a trainer. You're available for training. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's available, just so you guys know, okay? So you're going to get some of this, you know, get a come out to Plano, Texas. Uh, that's really important for people to know, I think, right? Okay, fantastic. And you have a master's degree, right? Yeah, I didn't quite finish some of my, my exit orals, but I did the classes, but my university when I was a strength coach there. So. Okay, fantastic. So you've got all it, all it needs. So yes. If somebody's so really looking for anything, you're, you're open. Yeah, I have. You know, my college degrees with athletic training, exercise science, and I'm in performance management, and then the sports studies with the nutrition background. So, so why bodybuilding? What brought you to this? Like, is this just something you just love? Are you just excited about it? Or are you just like, you know what? I've always loved to, um, when I started lifting in high school, I realized that my body realized that love muscle, it grew really fast. Um, I wasn't sure about it all, I think, and I went to college, I obviously had to lift for volleyball. And I grew really fast, and I realized I'm like I'm not so sure about this. Let's just run it off. So I lift, run, and anyway, <laughs> I think too, you know, in today is a lot more acceptable in society. But I think you know the, the way society portrays a woman or feminism, it was not maybe as accepted. It's been now 12 years since I graduated college, but 15 years ago, and it's much more accepted now. Which is again, uh, I feel very. Um, blessed to have the opportunity to hopefully inspire others and women to be themselves and it's okay to have muscle and be very feminine. So. Fantastic. So what would you tell people? I mean, obviously you're a muscular woman. You work really, really hard. You're in the gym. How often? How long? How many hours a week? Four hours a day right now. Okay. So very, very dedicated woman. What would you say to someone who, you know, you're walking through the mall. I know I get looks and I mean, I'm a pain competitor. What, what would you say to them? What would you tell them about yourself? Um. <laughs> You know, judge me for my heart, not for my physique. I think some people are overwhelmed with my physique and my muscles as a female. Um, and, you know, it is what it is, and we choose, every one of us choose what we want to do in our lives. Um, but again, I look at my bodybuilding as our work, and I'm developing my physique from the inside out. So, and so, you know, every rep I think of, you know, shaping my body, and it's, and it's just such a um, growth in that. Every direction, personal and emotional, spiritual, and obviously physical. So that's wonderful. So, what motivates you outside of yourself? Um, <laughs> like I said, I'm a very strong Christian. Um, the Lord, um, my family, and friends, and I just love to inspire others, to help help others. It's a passion of mine. So, whatever I do, I always try to help others. Um, whether it's a smile at them, you know, every day or whatever. 
whatever it is. I just want to have another so. Well, I know the first time I saw you, I was blown away. And that was uh, seeing your pictures on Facebook. Okay, Facebook people. Um, that back pose and her butt, I was like, wow. Where did they get one of those? Do they have they given those out at Willow Bend? I need to know. But um, I met you in person, and I am more nervous now, I think, that I'm interviewing you just because you're so amazing. You're such a wonderful person. And this is what it's all about. This is what this sport is all about. Thank you. And I really want to thank you for this. And um, maybe you can just walk these people through uh, what a day in the life of Sarah Hayes is like. Grocery shopping, uh, exercise, <laughs> work. How do you fit it all in? Are there more hours for you than there are for me? No, I wish there were. It, it gets a lot. You know, I backed on the preparation for the Olympia. I backed on my clientele, my base of working, you know, maybe two to four hours a day with my clients just because I'm putting in four or five hours a day myself. Yes. Plus, like you said, the shopping and all that. But I wake up usually around 4 30, 4 15 in the morning. I try to get to the gym by 5 a.m., do an hour cardio, or try to find usually around 6 or 6 15. Some days I get to sleep in and have a client at 7. But, um, you know, do a couple clients in the morning, and I try to go home, uh, you know, unpack from those meals, repack from the next meals, take a little nap if I can, retrain, and train with my coach, Jerry Wally. We train together 11 to every day, and then I do another hour to hour and a half of cardio after that. And then, like I said, another, you know, maybe some clients in the afternoon or um, shopping for my groceries. But I generally cook for four days, three or four days, so I can do mass quantity cooking and it takes like three or four hours. So it's just, like you said, balancing it all out. And then, you know, some clients in the evening, and, and then my last cardio session, I usually go outside and walk or go for a bike ride. And then home to have a shake and shower and go to bed. <laughs> and then not enough sleep probably right now, but. Well, you are super dedicated. I know there are a lot of women out there that struggle with their weight, they struggle with the way they look, mm -hmm. and they try to figure out how do I make this happen? How do I make this part of my life? And you are clearly making this your whole life. You're working so hard and you absolutely deserve everything. And I'm going to be at the Olympia. I just want you all to know that I'm going to be there. <laughs> And I'm going to be the really crazy one wearing the Sarah Hayes shirt, jumping up and down <laughs> screaming. So that's going to be me. I'm going to be your biggest fan. And I just want to thank you so thank much for the interview. Thank you. You're wonderful. Thanks so much. Thank you. Kick some butt. And yes. Bikini Beast. Out. <laughs>